Hello, this is Adams. Today we are going to talk about how we can build multiple models using different algorithms and select the best possible algorithm with the highest level of accuracy. So I'm going to open my name now. So I have my workspace ready. So the next thing I'm going to do is to grab my data. So I have my data here. Let's stop picture. So I will just drag the data out so, so that we can look at the content. So I will configure this. As we can see here, these are the variables, the visual so called dependent variables, the age, sex, religion, and so on, and the outcome variable, which is work engagement. Now, as we can see here, this work engagement has three major categories the moderately engaged, poorly engaged, and the uh, people with high level of engagement. So, this is our outcome variable, the label. And all other factors we have for sex, is religion, net and surface, are going to be the features, the predators. So, but before I move on, to, I will need to do some manipulation here. Actually, this first row is supposed to be the column names, but the Excel reader was unable to identify that. So I'm just going to come up here by taking this, telling the Excel reader that the first row is actually the column names. So I will just like click there and come down here and refresh. So everything is now in place. So what I'm going to do next is to click OK. So I'm done with it. It's a, I just execute. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pick up my partitioning. So uh, since I want to train, I want to train data and the one for, to test the model. So I need a node called partitioning to divide my data into two. Partitioning. This node allow me to divide the data into both test and train data. So we have to link the data with the partitioning. And next thing is to do the configuration. So I need to tell the partitioning node that I want 75% of my data. Okay, let's do 65% of my data to be used as the train data. In other words, the 65 percent will be used to train my model. If you can click here and then just click OK. In that case, it means the remaining 35 percent will be used to test my model. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to come up with different learners because I don't actually have information about the best algorithm I'm going to use to train my model. So I'm just going to select like three algorithms and at the end of the day the one with the higher level accuracy is the algorithm I'm going to go for. So Lena we have different Lena here that I can select from as we can see you can see the boost naive bias learner, three assembly learner, decision tray. Let me pick up decision tray. Then I we like to see random forest here. Random forest, yeah. Random forest learner is also here. Pick it up. Mm, so that one can I use? Let me look for. Keep the boosting. Uh, 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 uh. So, any boost later, I'm going to pick this. So, I have three algorithms. So, any one of these algorithms with the highest level of accuracy is what I'm going to go for at the end of the day. So, let me configure each of them by joining the. Train data 
we them one by one and let me deal with the decision tray configure now the class column is engagement level which is correct i think if we order that thing should be left as default then i will just click okay then i can now execute so i'm done with the decision tray later the next thing i'm going for my random forest learner pick it there, configure it as well uh as we can see here everything is already set i can see all my predictors uh here and the outcome variable the label with our three dimension three levels the moderate the high and the pop so everything is okay then i click okay so the next line of action is to configure the grid depositor tree lane as well and just attach the trim data set with it configure here we go i think everything is also okay and the editors are also in the right place just click ok as well <coughs> Now I can execute. Uh, I did execute it so that I can execute. So what I'm going to do now is to pick up my predictors. Now we can see the algorithm. All these three algorithms, they are used to train the model. So I need another algorithm, the predictors, to actually test the model now. So each of these algorithms have their appropriate, the respective predictors. So I'm going to come here and pick up the node decision tree predictors, decision tree predictor, which is here already. I pick it up and drag it here. And I'm going to pick up uh, that of random forest as well, random forest predictors is here. So pick it up. And put it there. And the last one for the gradient booster tray gradient booster pigitos. Yeah, it's here. I will drag it, also put it there. Now I have my pigitos to test my model. So the next line of action is to join these two together so I need the model from decision tree learner with the decision tree predator because decision tree predators need this model to make any evaluation so I'm going to come to the test data and just join it with the decision tree predators then I'm going to do the same for the random forest We have uh, the model with the predator and the data with the predator. So I also have uh, the Gideon Booster Trilader. Yeah. Okay. And the model with the, so the same thing is repeated for all the predators. Now I can execute. I configure first. <coughs> Is everything okay? I will leave everything as default as well. There's no really, there's nothing to actually change here. Click OK. Then you can configure this as well. The prediction also click OK. And then, then click OK. I will leave everything as default. So I can execute, execute, and execute. So the next thing I'm going to do is to evaluate each of these algorithms. I want to evaluate the performance of each of these algorithms by looking at their level of accuracy. So I'm going to pick up a scorer node. Scorer. Scorer we have been to 
evaluate is of these predators, their level of performance, how good they are in dealing with the data. So I need three squares for each of the predators. Each of the predators we take one. So we have three squares. I can just turn it together as well. Together. And together. Okay, so I can do the configuration as well. So I think everything is also okay. Then I click OK. This is just very easy to do. Execute. It is going to remain the same here. Configure. Okay. Everything is in order. Execute. Uh, configure. Okay. Uh, execute. So now I'm done with the model building and I want to evaluate which of these algorithm is the best as far as this data is concerned. So I'm going to click here and check for the decision tree first. What do we have? Accuracy statistics. Now here we go. The decision tree level of accuracy like 70%. Let's see 71%. Well, that is okay. But maybe we have better option. I'm going to come down here and look for the random forest. The crazy statistics. Oh, this is coefficient matrix. I need information about coefficient matrix. What is going on? Oh, I think I make a mistake with the collaboration. Configure. Oh god, this is where we made mistake. It's supposed to be a given level because I'm interested in looking at the accuracy and this. Okay. And execute. Then here. The same thing. I need the actual agreement level to be here and the prediction to follow. Okay, okay. Then I can execute. No, this is good. Now let me look at the accuracy statistics. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So as we can see, the overall accuracy it is six percent, almost eighty seven percent for the random forest. This is very very high. Uh, and if you look, if you look at this again, look at the recall. This is where the practical application actually comes in. From this is telling us that the predict an employee is going to perform at is going to perform or engage at moderate level, let's say hundred people, then it means at least it is seven percent of these people will perform at moderate level. If this model predict that hundred people are going to perform poorly as an half of a poor level of engagement, then at least eighty nine percent of them will be we perform poorly. So in other words, they we display they are more likely to display poor level of work engagement. And if the model predicts hundred people are going to be highly engaged, then this is it means that at least it it one percent of them will be more highly engaged. Uh, we can see the recall is so 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 high. This is the practical implication application and it means this model can be deployed as far as this is concerned because it is the prediction is highly promising. Then let's look at the GDP booster, the last one. What do you have to offer? Accuracy. Well GDP booster be seventy five point six percent accuracy. So as we can see now, it is very obvious that the random forest predictors give us the best prediction give you the highest level of accuracy. So if we want to deploy our model, then it is better we go for the random forest as the prediction is the most accurate.
lower level of misclassification error. And there are other things that need. Let's look at confusion matrix, especially for the random forest. Yeah, we can see here all these diagonal, the photo one something, these are the accuracy. And those one here, 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 here are the misclassification. This, these are the errors. So you can see here, for instance, this model predicted that 13 people will be highly engaged, and at the end of the day, those 13 people were highly engaged. However, it predicted that one will be highly engaged, but the problem is one person was <laughs> didn't really highly engaged, it was poor level of engagement, and likewise for the moderate. The Buddha predict that two people will be highly engaged, but in reality, there's no moderate level of engagement. The same thing applies to others. So all these two, two, one, two, four, zero, these are the misclassification. Why the 41, 17, and 13? These are the accuracy. So these are the things that is actually combined together to calculate the accuracy statistics. So at the end of the day, if the total number of people if we had the 41, 17, and 13 together over the total number of, resp of uh, respondents, then we are going to have the accuracy statistics. Uh, if we divide the number by this 2, 1, 3, divided together by total number of people as well, we have to have the misclassification percentage error. So this is how the whole thing is done. So in summary, Random forest predictor is the best algorithm as far as this data is concerned. Thank you for listening.